Hello guys, Tropico 4. This is the first mission, a state of emergency. If you want to read the backstory, it's all available right here. You can just pause the video and you can read it. And we're moving on. So you have to choose from a lot of characters. A lot of new guys like a voodoo pizza man. I guess he's not new. He's, well I guess he is new. These are just stats that kinda of level up on their own. Husker Melee Sway El Septimo. Most of these guys are not real. Uh, there's Manuel Noriega, who I've totally maxed out quite good. Uh, is there any characters I can just flat level up? It doesn't look like it. Alright, I guess I will be picking... Oh, here, Administrator, here we go. Picking El Septimo. Let's do this. Uh, so Tropical 4 is a simulator game. With, you know, crazy backstories and just a really weird culture and a lot of characters that you're gonna fall in love with, especially Penultimo, you know, Sheik Sabine, just all kind of, uh, and they're all done in this, um, a caricaturized style of, of graphic art. Uh, you'll see in political cartoons, so that's really good. It's just got this nice music that plays all the time. In a world going down, we are looking up. When everyone thinks it's time for caution, it's time for action. Dream with me, my fellow citizens of the world. Dream big! The, uh, Rixt, uh, something, I can't remember what it's called, it's in Brazil, but just kind of a symbol to... Taters, so Thank God, God you, you are, are here, here President Day. We have a crisis that even I, your fanatically loyal and adequately competent advisor, cannot resolve. And you, you stop talking, so I try to keep things just as you left them, but the nation Tropico has always managed to stumble. So you build six food producing buildings. So this is really far back. So you hit the right click button to build this menu here. And let's see. Got some farms. And, you know, one of the nice things about being in uh, the third world is it doesn't matter too much where you place things. Like, you can place them on buildings and stuff, because the third world, man, no one cares. So I'm going to spread these out a nice bit. The uh, reason for that is because um, people actually will want close access to food. Because <laughs> just this third world, people go directly to a farm to get food a lot of times. You can place down markets and stuff to really deal with that, but, you know, this this works out too well as well. The roads are really wonky, like they're always twist and turn, so it's really hard to place roads in this game. And just, you know, once it's done very much on purpose, just because it's the third world. This is what the roads look like. The roads never really go anywhere, they kind of just curve all over the place. Uh, so we get this uh, Teamsters building, which will be used to bring goods to the dock. The garage actually looks different. And here's the construction shop, most important building here. So we're going to select what is it the Presidente. Make it so. And we will bring him here. So we're just going to speed things along a bit. Uh, I should probably play on some more stuff. Uh, tourism always kind of pays out, doesn't it? Yeah, tourism always pays out. Oh, let's get a tourism dock down. You can kind of just, like, you know, since this is an expansion, it's kind of presumed that you're going to know a lot of this stuff already. And we'll put down four hotels. Let's see if we can find some green areas. Tourists love green areas. What we just to do? Tourism is kind of interesting because it's really easy to make a lot of early money, but then it's really hard to expand it. So like a tourism opener does really, really well, but it doesn't really last forever. Relations oh, between Tropico and Europe have hit an all-time low point. Quite Perhaps we well. should consider presenting the king and queen of Europe with a generous gift. Our diplomats already tried this, but the European Post returned the package. Damn those meddling spies! Yeah, the game's full of like this uh, really awesome creative commentary where it's like everything you do is is covered on the radio by Penultimo and uh, some random girl. I don't know who she is. Just a radio host. Uh, let's see, another hotel. 
Yeah, I like to go four hotels, just because uh, that's pretty much the maximum one dock will support. And you gotta think, like, your dock is kind of like... Your dock can only bring in so many people at once, basically. Uh, so I'm really running low on cash. Um, let's put down some attractions. No. Okay, so this is priority. I want to get one hotel down. And these shanties here indicate, these shacks indicate that you have poor housing. So uh, I'll have to fix that eventually. Never fear, President is here. Send El President El Septimo. Gets into his awesome little thing. And just... I am sure you remember me, Presidente. I am the UN Inspector Brunhilde van Hoof, and it is my official duty to help you get through the crisis. Unofficially, I have the pleasant task of making you miserable. <laughs> Just like old times. Okay, so I got a panic meter here. So the social disaster will trigger whenever that hits 100. That sucks bad. So the game, like, it's pretty cool. You zoom in and, like, you'll see, like, individual people. Never fear. Here's President me. is here. And it actually has the, the actual guy, the bulb, uh, El Septimo. So that's pretty cool. Um... Luxury. What do I want? Can I afford the spa? I can just afford spas. You can actually go a negative of uh, 10,000 before they, you know, stop you from building. Tropico is currently short on cash. What is your take, Penultimate? So I as soon as tourists show up, they should all be fixed. They're all... hoarding their money instead of spending it! Check out the news, uh, President. Mm -hmm. A large part of the world is even hungrier than we are. Hmm. It's a little bit funny. So this is I, I supposed to be the uh, the green level, but I've dumbly kind of put in some uh, President some uh, hotels here. And hotels are good because it's uneducated females, and for the most part, in early game, using uneducated males for everything. So it's good because it gives them something to do. You know. Stuff and places. What matter requires Presidente's attention? Uh, let's get put him here. Talk fast. I don't have all day. Talk fast. I don't have all day. Um, it's always all work and no play for Presidente. Yeah, I always like to keep this on fastest as well. Cause there's really no point in putting on anything else. Like I don't know. There's just no reason really to slow the game down. Except maybe his panic meter. Not really sure though. Um, Uh, panic meter bothers me a little bit. I'm not sure what the consequences of that will be just yet. Uh, a lot of people will build an extra construction office when you have lots of projects available, but I'm kind of poor right now, so I'm not going to. I'm really just hoping that this tourist stop will show up eventually. Whoa! New sound effects! Wow! This game's got some crazy improvements so far. I mean, it actually plays mostly like the old game. I haven't gotten to see the modern times yet. So far, it's mostly just old times. Come on, build, you son of a bitch. And this is, like, kind of the complaints I had about Tropico 4. Is really, a lot of it you can leave, out, leave around. I mean, obviously, you know, disasters had some effect on things, but you're, you're waiting a lot. A very, very long what time. What is it now? There you go. Oh, I got do have tours, so that's why my money is going like crazy high now. A uh, poor tourist injured himself making funny faces. Thank you. Just tell me to build this thing here at a spa. So basically with tourism, this is kind of cool. You get tours to the island, and they'll pay like a base rate for the hotel. Which, by the way, will be uh, 75 occupancy. Which will give me... Means that each tourist will pay me more, and... It'll also allow me to charge more for my spa. Which is definitely a good idea. So we'd have more tours showing up as this becomes all working and stuff. And uh Yeah, like once I get the spa, Talk fast, I don't have my economy should be pretty stable. 
and I can start building these farms, which I've been pretty much ignoring, mostly because my priority has been on tourism. I'm not sure if this is backwards or not. Uh, usually in Chopco 4, a good strategy was to build up a huge economy before you do uh, most of these objectives, because all the objectives do is like kind of twist and turn you around, so you're kind of stuck, I guess, in these weird like little scenarios. So yeah, um, we have here garage. Presidente, the workers are organizing themselves for a series of strikes and. I see. So I build a newspaper, and the panic meter goes back to zero. So I'm gonna let the panic meter go up a little bit. I'm not too worried. Um, I woke up this morning, and even my cat looked miserable. Dios mío, y todos los santos, what is it with you people? It's much better to look stupid and always uh, smile. I guess I'll pay him off. It's good I'm for the blood pressure. Now. And the back up. Digging. I can afford quite a bit. As time progresses, new and advanced garbage. buildings become available, Presidente. I present to you my plan for the new Trapimark chain of stores that will replace the old marketplaces as our main oh. food distribution buildings. Oh. Oh. Oh, where is the... Where is it? Oh. A supermarket. Which I won't be building yet. My money's terrible. Um... And, it, and really, I don't have everything built yet, anyway. So Never here's like, fear, President is here. I guess he's it's automated. always yeah. all work and no play for President. You put El Presidente in the farms, and he will totally jack this up and give it extra production. But zoom, done. El Presidente. Time to check up on my people. Just something to do while you're kind of like you know this little lull of acciones. Paper. Oh, that is expensive. Whoa. Okay, that was really expensive. Um, and I guess while I'm the negative, I may as well get down some more firms. I do export 2,000 food. Check out the news, President. So our cool thing is like here it says. As time progresses, account. new and it's kind of like a way of tracking your score, and you can do so many things to like. Get uh, your Swiss bank account. It's this timeline thing. Interesting. Very, very interesting. Um, it's kind of telling me what what's going to happen, I guess, in the game. So yeah, uh, I'm going to go through a lot of market crashes, I guess. Cube missile crisis coming up as well. Interesting. Interesting indeed. As you can see, the spot there, very popular. Well, Jack, the entry be a little bit no. Here, to make money after all. And 75% occupancy is working out quite well. Newspaper done. Panic meter covered. Alright, after I get some money, I'm gonna go build myself a uh, little bit of a supermarket. Some supermarket actionez. I don't think I'm exporting any food at all right now. You know, I'll build a supermarket, maybe some homes. You know what I really need? I need an immigration office. I always like to put it up here just so I remember where it is. And I've opened doors, and that will encourage more people to come work on my island. God does not need temples, my son. What is it now? Time to check up on my people. No production means no money in the treasury. No production means no money in the treasury. Alright, um... So I gotta build, like, a shit ton of farms to be able to export that much. I like to spread them out, farms do have, like, an operating area. And you connect them with roads. 
um, just because it makes them build faster and it also allows Teamsters to pick up stuff faster. Like, people will run off on the grassland and do stuff, but it takes a lot longer. So now we go down the mystical supermarket. I guess I'll put it, like, right here. Cause that's going to be where I'm going to build my tenements, too. Tenements. Yes, indeed. Alright, now I'm back to being broke again. Thankfully, tourism is really paying off. Maybe I'll put this up just a little, a little bit more. I have lots of rich guys here, so that's good. Last night, Are you this Oktoberfest? as I was talking to God, he told me he is disappointed in Let's Tropical see how, uh, for not options are doing. worshipping him properly. Intellectuals and high schools. people. If this does not change soon, he will turn all the rum on Tropical into in water. Chai Museum is actually the easiest one to do. Entertainment. Childhood Museum. This one's kind of silly too. It's like, it holds, it's a museum of my personal childhood. Like all my toys and stuff. This is priority guys, the immigration office. What matter requires Presidente's Go attention? I know you want to live somewhere. I want to build this tenement up. Did I just run into here? Oh, we gotta get my limo. And you zoom in, like, you'll see, like, stereotypes. Like, this is a tourist. This is, you know... Yeah, you get the idea. And people have images over their head indicating, like, what their needs are. And there's kind of like a little portion of the game where you're supposed to kind of click on the person and indicate the need. Uh, but the factions actually tell you mostly what people need anyway. So there's really not a point. I guess this is too expensive for some people. All right, back down to eight. My dad, my bad. Our treasury balance is negative Two. at the moment. I know it's negative, you douchebag. All right, and I need like an immigrant here. So we'll get ourselves an immigrant or two. Every time you get an immigrant, it gets more expensive. So it's like kind of a mixed bag or Never fear, Presidente is here. Well, it's a good thing, but at the same time, like, it's a pretty awful thing. Are too. you a rebel? Are you Back a rebel? Back to work oh, again. I love you, El Presidente. Build two farms. Comrade, progress. With ease, one and two. I'll probably build more farms than that. And not just corn. Might also do bananas. Yeah, banana farm. That's consumed food, too. The thing is, the different food types go to different countries with exportation. So, like, papayas go to the Chinese, bananas go to, like, the British. I think Chinese take pineapple, too. The uh, Muslims take, not the Muslims, the Middle East take, um, take all your cattle. Even, well, I guess it's Emians that don't eat cattle. And now, a curious report. A woman has been no, walking along tropic beaches uh, trying fish, to fish, what fish? I actually don't fish. have Can you believe that? Any hey, does anyone know where Sunny is? I haven't seen her around. Like, this coast here I don't even use. Like, this is a whole island that I'll never use. That's interesting, there's no island there. So, I gotta get my camera oriented back to the way it was. The way I like it. Now the building of the supermarket is almost complete. Well, not really. But I've got nothing else to show you in the meantime. And... Complete. Com complete. C complete. Ta-da! The supermarket. What do we have here for options? Normal food? Healthy food. Life expectancy increased. Junk food is unhealthy and so tasty, so good. <laughs> That's kind of funny. So you can choose to increase life quality or food quality. There is an opportunity. And two new hotels? What? Oh my god. It's brutal. Oh, these places all turn yellow? That sucks. Oh my god. Alright. So, it's okay guys. I will make this work. So when you're building, you have to build more hotels than you, than you really can support. 
I, I think a good bit of advice to fix this is you set the other ones down to lower occupancy. It doesn't actually decrease your revenues whatsoever and it'll work out for you. So I'm going to need some high school workers here. High school workers are relatively cheap. So it's not too bad to afford them. I think I'll lay down a high school finally. Yeah, high school. This will train up a lot of people for me. For my future plans for the island. What does it do? It gives a capitalist respect. And this gives me communist respect. And this gives me... Check out respect. the news, Presidente! A large okay. part of the world is... Sir, the number of them. All right, let's see. Rebels, how do you for rebels? Well, I guess I'll need an armory, won't I? And we have one college-educated general out here. And I still need more food, though. That's pretty consumable. Alright, uh, I think this is uh, probably going to be the end of my day. Uh, this is part one, I guess, of this mission. And, uh,